Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2, Two Old Guys Talking About Stuff. And today's stuff is about our recent visit by, uh, I think it's Cyclone or Tropical no, Storm. No, Hurricane Hillary. Hillary. No, not her. It wasn't a hurricane when she came here. She was a tropical storm. Sorry, John. Oh, it was downgraded. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. And by the way, on in the Pacific Ocean, they're called cyclones. And in the, the Atlantic Ocean, they're called hurricanes. But that's another another. Not episode. according to the Weather Channel. Well, not according to the Weather Channel, which I have learned to love. Trust me. Okay. So we'll save that for an update. Yes. Okay. But... <laughs> So uh, have, uh, uh, we got through a relatively unscathed, lots of heavy rain, but not all the wind tearing down, right. stuff, which it could have been. And some sections of uh, Southern California got hit harder than others. Uh, so yep. uh, how did it affect you, John? Uh, actually, we were in the eye. I'm in San Diego. You're in Orange County, which is what, uh, maybe 50, 75 miles north of me. Yeah. Um, and we kept watching Hurricane Hillary while it was still a hurricane, come up Baja and head right towards us. And, you know, we knew that, of course, typically these things blow out a little bit. It'll get downgraded to a tropical storm, yada, yada. The winds won't be 125 miles an hour. They'll only be 75 miles an hour. But by the time it got here, I have to tell you, it was, it was not a nothing burger, but it was relatively mild. Um, there's a lot of down leaves, palm fronds, and branches and stuff. Uh, and we did get some, we're on a hillside, so we have erosion is our bigger problem. We're not on a low level, so flooding isn't an issue. Um, but w w relatively speaking, it wasn't bad. I mean, we got a full day of rain, and they had been predicting two days of rain. Um, now, in August for Southern California to get rain at all is a big deal. So there are areas that had serious flooding and things. I think usually the desert areas have a big problem because the rain just washes right off and the gullies, you know, become rivers and things like that. But we we're very lucky. And I thought maybe you would get the brunt of it because it looked like there was a lot of rain hitting Los Angeles. Right. So, so, um, and I have, have to, you know, government gets hit pretty hard uh, for the, even sometimes the slightest of uh, uh, things that make people upset. But here, yeah. the LA County schools, uh, they already declared they're going to be closed for the day. Uh, my uh, gym, uh, which is the local Y uh, uh, right up the block for me, uh, out of an abundance of caution, not just for uh, people trying to get home at night because it wasn't supposed to hit until like before five o'clock in the afternoon, right. but to take care of their employees who might be stranded there. Out of an abundance of, of caution, they closed it for the day, which it's only closed two or three days a year sure. to begin with. Uh, I'm not sure about the Orange County schools. I think they were teetering on that and haven't checked it. But the point is that, yes, we got lucky because the path went just it inland enough that we got the heavy rain, but we didn't get the winds, uh, which had died down a lot because the ocean is colder here, so it doesn't, it, all those things sort of affect yeah. the speed and the intensity of it. Uh, but the, some of the desert areas you could see were just inundated. They got maybe a year or two worth of uh, water in a couple yeah. of hours in one yeah. day, as opposed to spread out over the whole year. Right. And so I'm sure from, and we saw a couple of pictures of uh, trees that went into houses and things, but nothing like what would we would normally expect and that we've had in other uh, major rainstorms. So I think the, right. real, the real thing here is that the uh, preparedness uh, and the uh, abundance of caution that local agencies from uh, fire to police yes. to uh, political all did the right thing because yeah. it kept people off the road. It talked about the seriousness of it, and they prepared. As a matter of fact, in, your, uh, in San Diego, I understand there was like five to seven uh, uh, fast water rescue teams stationed uh, throughout the county. Uh, and I don't know if they had to be called on much at all, but they were there uh, right. to, to try to help uh, uh, get people who get, let's say, a car going into three inches of water sometimes will get 
uh, uh, swept up. That's that's all yes. we really need. And uh, 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 rescuing people uh, three hours later, four hours later, oftentimes is way too yeah. late. So they were really prepared for this. And I probably out of everything, I was most impressed about uh, all of the uh, first responders and uh, their positions and actions that were taken uh, to keep us safe. And if in some cases it didn't matter, well, great. So rather be safe than sorry. Yeah. Well, I think there's two um, two lessons for all of us here. Uh, one is that, thank God, we all had a lot of time to prepare. We could watch it on the radar coming up from uh, Cabo San Lucas, you know, all the way up. And um, it's in, the second lesson is that we're in Southern California, a huge uh, Mexican immigrant population. And yet the Weather Channel didn't really, and none of the channels really address the impact this storm had on Mexico. Mm. And if you've been to Mexico, you know that even in uh, big cities like Ensenada or whatever, um, the the infrastructure is really not great. And uh, they had a huge amount of problems uh, mm. with flooding and buildings coming down, stuff like that. And I was surprised that nobody reported on that. Nobody. Now, I'm sure Mexico has its own television and its own weather channel and whatever. So maybe our weather channel is not that's not their job to report on Mexico. But I was surprised that we didn't see more of that. But the preparedness for all of us was what fortunate, you mm -hmm. know, granted, we took advantage of it. Um, and we, as it turns out, we didn't need most of it, but we had the time. That's the hard part. And I think of all my relatives back east, when hurricane season hits the east coast, particularly uh, Florida, um, you don't always get the time, you know, it, it, the hurricanes back east, they hit Florida or the Gulf, and then they bounce around and you don't know whether they're going to hit um, come back in or go out to sea or blow themselves out. It, it's relatively unpredictable here on the West Coast, and I don't know why. It's probably topography or something. Um, we seem to have more warning, wa more warning for all our storms, and they seem to blow themselves out a little earlier, mm. and they seem to be more predictable. They, when they say it's coming this way and it's going that way, it usually goes that way. You know, John, so, you, just, you just reminded me, uh, we're both from the East Coast, uh, from the New York metro area, and it seems to me that whenever big storms are coming our way, one thing that did happen on a regular basis is you'd find that within uh, a day or two before, all of the shelves were uh, in the supermarkets that would no more milk and yeah. cereals and eggs, and uh, yes. uh, that didn't happen here, okay? No, no. So... I Maybe we didn't take it as seriously as, uh, or as frantically as uh, our former uh, selves were. Um, well, you know, it was an off-season storm. Yeah. We, we get rain in January and February. That's that's our rainy months, right? right. The winter. So I don't think anybody took this <laughs> too seriously. Oh, it's August. It doesn't count. You know. Anyway, so um, uh, we uh, so we had a visit by Hillary. Uh, she basically said, hi, you need the water, uh, but uh, she didn't, uh, she wasn't destructive. So, um, uh, as if she could have been, there was really, uh, we got by fairly well on skate. And in the midst of the whole thing, we had a 5.1 earthquake up in Ohio area, which is North right. LA. And it was like, oh, hum. <laughs> yeah. A 5.1. Oh, another one. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That would have been the big news had it not been for right. Hillary. Yeah. Anyway, everybody always take advantage of the weather reports um, and don't fool around with storms like this. We were lucky. It turned out to be relatively mild in, in the end, but um, don't take a chance and always check on your neighbors and, and be prepared. Speaking of preparedness, we tried to get sandbags mm. on Saturday, went to Home Depot and three or four, they're all out. They carry sandbags, not a big pile of them, but they did pile up for the storm, but people ran in and they were gone. So we couldn't get sandbags. Now we've got, here's a little trick. We took those plastic shopping bags from the grocery store. We put sand in them and tied the handles mm -hmm. and 
put them down as sandbags. They're not as thick and, and heavy and whatever, but it worked. Yeah, um, but be prepared. Have some sandbags. If you know you're going to have some kind of flooding or erosion, have some sandbags. And we're going to save these sandbags that we did get. And we're probably going to get more for next time. Because, you know, we do get rain in the winter and we do get uh, erosion and things like that. But also dig out your drains. Take your, uh, what, do, what do you, the gutters. The gutters, clean your gutters. Do all of that stuff when the weather's good and be prepared for whatever the, the emergency is in your area. You know, around here, it's mostly earthquakes, so. Right. So anyway, um, we, ha we had a, uh, uh, what could have been a, a really devastating storm. We were right. prepared. As it turns out, it wasn't for us in our particular path, just the way it went for luck of the draw. Um, yeah. Uh, things were, were fairly unscathed. Uh, and some people did have serious uh, uh, damage, which will have in all of these instances, just things yep. flying over uh, pool furniture uh, that people forget to put yeah. in their pool or, or secure. But for the most part, uh, Southern California was unscathed. Thank you for the first responders and for uh, the agencies responsible for keeping us safe. Yeah. Uh, this, time, this time, they really did the job right. Yeah. And, and thank you to the Weather Channel. I had not been a big weather fan, Weather Channel fan up until now. They are good. So are they you, are. John, are you going to be binge watching the Weather, weather Channel? <laughs> no more I'm going to buy a no Weather more, Channel hat. No this more is. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Hello, <laughs> Weather Channel. Yeah. Have a great day. All right, everybody, take care of yourself. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.